outside of the UMFS campus here in Richmond. And people coming in are greeted by this sculpture made up of words that they say are the characteristics of the people that work, volunteer, and are served here, sort of coming together like pieces of a puzzle to provide those services to families and kids, including those in the foster care system. But they say they need some more of those pieces in the forms of foster care parents. Opening of this gorgeous building that we are uh, currently inside. The grand opening of UMFS's Child and Family Healing Center in Richmond this week marked eight years of hard work. But officials say there's more work to be done with another aspect of their mission to help children in the foster care system. We can't do our work without the foster parents. We saw a pretty dramatic drop during the pandemic. As the nonprofit says year over year, the number of people applying to become foster parents with them is down 54%. And with nearly 5,400 kids in foster care in Virginia, UMFS says not having enough parents hurts their ability to help. The county departments of social services refer to us and we are able to say whether we can match the child that's referred to a foster parent. So we have had a drop in our ability to match. As to why the drop, they attribute it largely to the pandemic. I think the amount of stress that was layered on families um, for their own families and their work situations and the uncertainty and COVID um, caused people to pause. I think it's really unfortunate that, that those numbers are down. Speaking to the decrease, Virginia State Delegate David Reed knows firsthand the importance of foster parents ending up with a couple after six years living at UMFS as a child. They became like real parents to me and still are very much involved in my life. UMFS says they are seeing interest start to pick back up, but are doing what they can to encourage more parents to come forward, including keeping tools they developed during the pandemic. We can use virtual platforms to train families. They don't necessarily have to come you know, to the office. While Reed says to anyone considering, he encourages them to open up their heart and their home. It gives them an opportunity to be successful, hopefully like me or like others. And, and it really is. It, it, it's an opportunity to be a life-changing event for children that might not otherwise have had that opportunity. Now, if you are looking and considering to open your heart and open your home to a foster child, you can go ahead and make a connection with UMFS at their website, umfs.org. Working for you in Richmond, Cameron Thompson.